Welcome back, and today I want to talk about some animes. Unfortunately, I didn't have any good ideas, so I decided to make a top 10 anime list. Now these aren't the best animes ever, but these are my top 10 favorite animes. Maybe I can get them out of my head, or maybe they just are amazing, but you'll find out soon why I love all of these. But before I get into the list, let me know what your favorite anime is and why, and if you haven't, be sure to subscribe. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so number 10 is Naruto Shippuden. Listen, even just the war arc might make it, but there is so much good in this anime. But that's not why it's on here. Naruto has just a way to be put in my head and stays there. Also, it reminds me of a good trend, so wins all around. I specifically picked Shippuden over the original just because I prefer the action and the characters are a lot better. Naruto isn't just yelling believe it, Sasuke is still edgy but he's better, and Sakura is still trash. But with all of that, we're moving on. Number 9 is Dragon Ball. Not the original show, but all of it. Here's the thing, each version has something great about it, but in my head, they are all just one big anime. And I love it, except GT. The only reason it is so high on the list is because there's a lot of episodes I can skip, and I'm not really rushing to re-watch any of it. But I love the characters, shout out to my main man Piccolo for getting slept on all these years, but besides that, Dragon Ball would just always hold its place in my heart. So next. Okay, number 8 is a really weird pick, but it's Space Dandy. Many of you might be asking, what's Space Dandy? Well, it's a dandy guy in space, and that's kind of the premise of the entire show. It is super funny and actually kind of wraps everything in the last episode. But god damn is it just so charming. It's like if Cowboy Bebop was written by a comedian. It's a pretty short anime too so if you have time be sure to check this one and you won't be disappointed. I can't really say more about the show because you just kind of have to watch it. Okay with that we're moving on. Talking about Cowboy Bebop it's number 7. This anime is such classic it is just so good. And every time I watch it, I always see something I miss or fall back in love with the music of the theme song specifically. Even other things in it like the characters, the writing, and just everything else. Also, it doesn't have the most amount of fights in it, but the ones it does have are just so good. And that first episode alone is so worth the watch. Also, while some of these shows have some great music, this theme is simply legendary. Like, it hits just so differently. I can't even explain it. But with that, we are moving on. Number 6 has to be Fooly Cooly. But just original for how much love I have towards this series, I actually haven't seen anything else besides these. But Fooly Cooly is simply a coming of age story, but it doesn't make sense until you watch it more than once. It is super ridiculous, but in the best way, and has one of the best soundtracks, period. Seriously, guys, the pillows do a knockout job for all of the songs. And the names of the songs are just great. It is a super short anime, but it is worth it. And it has everything. Action, romance, comedy, and weird robots. So go watch Fooly Cooly, then watch it again, and you'll see why it is so amazing. Okay, so number 5 is Berserk. And I mainly mean the original 97 version. It is just so dark and so good. The first time I ever watched it, the one thing that bugged me is the theme song. I just didn't get why it fit, but the more and more I watched and the more and more I understood, I really saw that that's the best theme song for the original series. And just everything about it is so good. Most of you have probably heard about Guts or Berserk or something along the series, but this man is just the best. And the story is just so good. A fair warning though, it is super dark. So don't expect to come out of it super happy, but damn, is it just so amazing. I'm trying to not give a whole lot away, so if you do watch these after this list, you kind of are surprised. But Berserk is one of those shows that you just really have to watch. So with that, we're moving on. Number 4 is Yu Yu Hakusho, and while yes, I have made a video about it, and yes, I said I wasn't immediately in love with a lot of the part, I am in love with it more and more. And the more I think about it, the parts I didn't really like I find so charming now and the parts I did like I love. 
but it is just so good and because I do have a video about it and it shows a lot of my opinions on the show we're gonna move this one on but the video will be in the description so check that out if you haven't top three let's go Okay, so my number three is My Hero Academia, and yes, I have talked about this one a lot, but I love superheroes, and this combines that with anime, and it has some dope-ass fights. So yes, it's my number three. I also just really love most of the characters, and the characters I don't like, I don't hate, and can even find a couple moments of me smiling, especially to that great baby. But seriously, I love My Hero, and it's just... It's one of my favorites, so moving on. Okay, my second favorite anime is Gurren Lagann. This is one of the best animes I've ever seen, and I have seen it too many times. The thing is, this was the first show to ever make me cry, and the emotions just get amplified every time I watch it. I love everything about it and how it makes me feel. Even though I know everything, it will happen, and it just hits like a truck when it's all said and done. The music and the animation and just everything else makes Gurren Lagann so special. Seriously, if you haven't seen it, please do everyone, including yourself a favor, and watch it. I mean, even just with Kamina, he's still one of my favorite characters. Quick side note, let me know if you guys would like to see an entire video about Gurren Lagann, because I would love to make one. And my favorite anime of all time is, and will probably always be, Soul Eater. I love this show, and have watched it more times than anyone should know of. But still, every time I watch it, I just want to watch it over and over again. Everyone has an arc in this show, and they are all so good. Like Black Souls and Tsubaki's little quest against the Enchanted Sword is probably one of my favorite animes, and that's not even my favorite part of the show. Also, this anime has my favorite soundtrack in any anime slash show. It is just so good, and I never tire of hearing any of the amazing songs. Also. The humor and the action, just goddammit, I love Soul Eater, and I will never apologize for that. Do me a favor. If you like weird, funny, weird shows, go watch Soul Eater. It would surprisingly delight you. So that's my favorite. I hope you guys all like this list, and if you did, let me know. And if you didn't, let me know. But seriously, if you don't watch anime but want to get into it, I highly recommend to start with any of these. Well, maybe not Space Dandy, but still, even that one has a pretty great start. But that's all, guys. I will see you next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, bye-bye.